Hi guys, Aquaman here. So Squirrel Girl Neck nominated me and here's my video. I'm gonna drink a pint of bleach mixed in with dishwasher salt and just a pinch of nail polish remover. Wish me luck. Oh boy. Okay, I nominate... Yeah. I hate everything. You have 24 hours to do this. 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 You know, I can understand memes and why people like to take part in them. I can see what's entertaining about a dash of Doge or a spice of Slender Man. But every now and again, our generation of internet imbeciles decide to do something so ridiculous, so moronic, so... just f***ing stupid. I have to sit back and question the state of how advanced we are as a society. This relatively new fad in question is what is known as neck nominations. It's a simple game where you record yourself downing a large drink of alcohol as quickly as possible. And once you're finished guzzling said liquid, you nominate someone else to continue the idiocy. Spreading the game like malaria all over the pixels, tubes, or whatever the internet is made out of. I nominate Andrew Rambo Stevens, Cameron Dunn. This is the type of thing that makes me question why I even try to defend certain aspects of social networking. For every cool, funny, or unique thing that springs up, there's always at least one halfwit who abuses the system and ends up creating fads like planking, the Harlem Shake, posting pictures of starving people in Africa and somehow thinking it helps them, fraping, tweeting about your life and assuming people care, and now neck nominations. I discovered neck nominations in the same way many other people would have, through the news. The internet. You know, YouTube, wherever things are seen, is, is a new problem, isn't it? First off, it's hardly newsworthy, but more interestingly, the only reason this is a new story in the first place is because, unlike the Harlem Shake or Gangnam Style, brace yourselves for this, so far five people have died from neck nominations. And you know what? I bet more people have died in the time it's taken me to record this and put a video together. Just listen to a couple of the poisonous concoctions these people have drunk. Whiskey Malibu and vodka cocktails, and two pints of gin mixed with tea bags. That's the equivalent of 30 shots in two minutes, to put that in perspective. And I can't even begin to imagine how much they overdrank in tea. And to make the whole thing even worse, it's now even spread to primary schools where 10 year olds have been downing cocktails, thinking it's the cool, new, hip thing to do. Now, I actually think there's something to be said about peer pressure and teenage dickishness in this kind of situation. Sure, you have it preached to you by your parents and teachers for years. Don't let anyone else tell you what to do. You control your own life. With great power comes great responsibility. I think one of those was from Spider-Man, but there's a reason why they say all that. I mean, really, is it worth dying from alcohol poisoning purely because some dickweed, who you probably don't even like, told you to down a litre of dishwater mixed with Listerine? No, of course it's not worth it. It really does make me embarrassed that my very own generation can be so mind-numbingly thick. Because in 50 years time, we're not going to be remembered as the really cool generation who played against the rules and said f*** the system. We will be remembered as those f***ing retards who completely disregarded any form of common sense and abused the internet to only end up killing ourselves, thus proving Darwin's theory of natural selection. Otherwise known as Generation F*** It. We are Generation F*** It. And that is not something to be proud of. So those are my thoughts on this rather small and weird topic, but something about this one really pissed me off, and hopefully you hear this before anyone tries to tell you to do a neck nomination so you can turn around and call them a slimy garbage dick piglet or something. So last time I asked the question, which holiday do you hate most? Here are some of my favourite answers. Groundhog Day. Christmas. I hate Easter because rabbits are stupid. F*** Valib Tibbs Day. Every holiday. Good stuff. So this week's question, what internet fad or meme gets on your nerves the most? Does Gangnam Style grind your gears? Did what the fox say make your eyes bleed? Tell me in the comments below and my favourite answers will be featured at the end of the next episode. So as always, all comments and ratings are appreciated. Thanks for watching, bye. It really does make me embarrassed that my very own generation can be big so close. I was so f***ing.
getting close that time.